Hey everybody, welcome. And uh, this is the first lecture for the Unix operating system course, uh, first weekend class, I should say as well. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, just to start out with, is uh, go over the syllabus, go over the assignments for the course, uh, talk about how things are going to run, stuff like that, um, and then uh, offer up to see if you have any questions. And then we're going to start into lecture number one. And then uh, you know we have a pretty uh, pretty nice weekend. Um, the beginning stuff is, is fairly easy, I think. It's fairly straightforward. Um, and I'll talk about what you need software-wise in a few minutes. Uh, but what we're doing in this class is we're going to go over and focus on practical usage of basic Unix operating system. So the name of the course is Unix Operating System. Uh, it's not really an operating systems course. It is more of a Unix course. So a brief, um, you know, in the beginning, which is what I'm going to cover in my first lecture, a uh, little summary of Linux and Unix, what it is, uh, talk about the different breeds, and introduce you to some of the general principles of uh, modern operating systems in terms of the Linux architecture, looking at the multiprocessing, shells, environments, scripts, um, things of that nature. If you go through the description, you can see processes and threads. But that's not like, you know, a huge concept in terms of Unix, although it is one of the fundamental underlying concepts. So just, you know, as, a, as an example, um, we'll spend a little bit on a seashell, uh, Perl, um, and what I'm going to also do in the next few minutes is also go over the assignments and stuff with you for the course. And you'll see it's like, you know, separated out with a broad area of topics. So it's more than just Unix. I mean, I don't think, I don't think I a, a Unix course you could teach without coming into some of the other topics associated with shells and associated with scripts and scripting languages and stuff like that because it's a fundamental concept of Unix um, in terms of what's going on. This is not a C programming course however uh, but a little bit of talk about the C shell and C scripting uh, will be covered as well and um, looking at tailoring the environment, looking at the boot sequence, looking at how uh, information can be processed from, uh, you know, some from an automation point of view as well. So we'll get into that. And most Unix people they use Unix because it's, uh, you know, not not only is it a very, fairly uh, rich so, uh, operating system in terms of functionality and features, but it's easy to customize it. It's easy to make it like uh, work for different situations. It's not like one of these multi-purpose um, operating systems, like you know, for example, Windows. Well, even the Mac OS X is kind of multi-purpose. People take Linux and Unix and they make, um, you know, special kind of boxes or they make special kind of applications out of it. Um, in fact, you can build your own Unix kernel, and I'll go through that probably tomorrow, actually, um, where we'll look at, you know, how hard is it to build a kernel and what the purpose of the kernel is, because the kernel is one of those first topics I'm going to cover because it's like the underlying principle of Unix. And um, in theory, you can build a kernel for any of hardware. Actually, it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, a built box that you bought from the store. It can actually you can build your own hardware device, load a Unix or Linux kernel on it, and run like UC Linux or something on there, where you've got like a stripped down, customized build operating system, the special purpose. So a lot of the customization and a lot of the environment configuration and stuff um, is definitely a core focus for this particular course as well. Although you won't be required to build your own Linux kernel, you probably could do it quite easily, actually. Uh, so let's see, learning outcomes. You can go ahead and read through this on your own. I'm looking around the room, and most of you I have had in other classes before as well. Uh, anybody brand new? No, you're brand new? There's always one in a crowd. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so <laughs> I will bring it up then. Uh, you want to write down this URL at the top of the screen. Once you settle in there, it's bhecker.com. A lot of the other students already have it. Um, this is where you're going to find all of the course materials. Nothing is in the LMS yet. In fact, the assignments might be in there. And so you can start uploading assignments and things. But I don't believe the syllabus, or maybe the syllabus is. Uh, we're still building the LMS class. So none of the lectures, none of the information, the support files are going to be in the LMS yet. And if you don't have an LMS login, you don't know what that is, talk with the registration people, they should be giving you a login so you can get logged in and you can um, uh, upload it. All your coursework gets uploaded into the LMS. And uh, this here, you don't actually have to put the forward slash ITU. You can just type in bhacker.com is what you want. So, And other new people, make sure you get signed up on the roster so you, we know that you attended today as well. So, All right, so that was, uh, that was my brief for brand new people. 
Yes? Yeah, I'm going to try and do that, actually. I noticed that the focus on the projector, it's not on the computer, it's on the projector that you're watching. Um, what I'm going to try and do, as soon as I get done, I'm going to take a small break after I get done doing the syllabus, and then uh, after I come over the, because you can't read the stuff anyway. But before I start the first lecture, it's going to give you a headache within a couple hours. So what I'm going to do is, um, actually, is my TA here? No, 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 nobody in the room knows, okay, so no TA. And uh, when the TA gets here, I need to have her or him, yeah. No, 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 I'd like to do it because it's, especially all day, you're going to get, like, you're going to get a, I, can, I would get a headache looking at it, so. Uh, but I'm waiting for the TA to show up so I can go call it. But we'll take a brief break um, in a few minutes after I get done going through the syllabus and the course before we start the first lecture when you're actually looking at the screen a lot um, so we can get that focused. All right. Um, I think it's just a matter of getting the remote for it as well. So uh, what we're looking at then in terms of the course learning outcomes, and you probably don't want to read that because it's going to give you a headache, but um, being familiar with general historical development. We're going to go through that in lecture one. Uh, understanding basic features. That's going to be most of the course, actually. Basic features. I'm not going to have you type uh, or you know create files in VI. You don't have to use any particular text editor. You don't actually have to use a text editor. You can use a GUI interface if you want. Um, I'll be talking about desktops. I'll be talking about different Linux builds um, in the first lecture. Uh, but for the purposes of this course, you don't have to install anything. If you have a MacBook, you have a Unix system. If you have a Windows book and you have a boot CD-ROM drive, you can put a live disk in there and I'll show you some links for that um, before the day is over. And you can boot your system to Linux just from the CD-ROM drive, so you don't have to worry about that either. If you're really advantageous, you can install Linux, um, you know, Ubuntu works really nicely from a USB drive. So if you've got a thumb drive, you can put that in there and install uh, Ubuntu on it. So we can do that as well. But I'll go through that um, as well as we go through the course. But you will have to have access to um, a Unix system for this class. Um, it's going to be one of the requirements. And we don't have Unix servers at this campus. Um, we've been trying to get it for years. I haven't had it yet. Uh, so let's see you know, what happens in the near future. Uh, but I don't have a system that you can tell it into, and I don't have a system that you can you know, use on campus. So you pretty much have to set up your notebook to utilize Linux. And um, I actually uh, I have some links I'll give you. Uh, that'll show you um, where to download the ISO files and how to burn it to a CD-ROM and stuff. Um, but for the textbook for this course, there's really, this is recommended here, the textbook, not required either. Uh, in fact, I've got a ton of lecture slide sets that um, was going to cover most of the information, if not all, of everything you'll need to know for this particular course. So. The problem with textbooks, um, usually they focus on applications or they focus on one Linux build and not really Unix. And uh, you know, Unix boxes themselves have gone down in price, but, you know, they're you know, still in the neighborhood of about $10,000 or so. So they're not hanging around people's houses. You know, you see them in company environments, and you see Unix manuals that come with Sun servers and, or HP UX or something, and they're like, you know, six or seven inches thick. They're huge, and they, re they read like technical manuals. You know, they're not really textbook quality either, and they have the best information in them. But what's in there is a bunch of commands. They're more reference. So for the particular course here, you're going to find the internet very helpful for reference material, um, and you're going to find you know any books that you might have uh, you know access to that would also be fine. But you know in terms of course reading the lecture notes, we're going to give you everything you need. Most students on the first day of class are interested in the grading, so this isn't too hard to look at. Um, in terms of the grading, what are we looking at? Uh, the final exam which is 25% of your grade. And um, oh, there's my TA. Very good. My TA is late. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the CSLO essay, which is 25% of your grade. Uh, projects at 20%. And homework at 30%. So the projects, uh, there's five of them, and they're worth five points each. So they're not like projects. They're having you do stuff with Linux. So it'll be, you know, a, a series of steps that you'll have to go through um, to assemble a program or to write something. Or And the homeworks are more, there's six of them. They're more answering questions, following, and I'll, I'll take a look at them in a few minutes, but they're primarily um, concerned with 
answering questions and running through drills and practices of certain things. So the purpose essentially, which is why 50% of the course is sort of hands-on, um, where you'll be writing little scripts, you'll be writing little programs, running um, commands and stuff like that um, to give you some hands-on experience, hands-on exposure with Unix. The other half of the course, this CSLO is sort of like the midterm, and I'll talk about that during the second interactive session. Uh, we have three class meetings. The last one will be for the final exam, and that one is an in-class final exam, but I'll go over everything you need for it during the second, um, the second meeting that we meet. Um, and uh, this is mandatory. You must attend the final exam in person, and it must be during the weekend of our final exam, which means you can't, like, attend, like, if you're taking another weekend course, you can't take all of your finals on the same day. It's because attendance is mandatory, and it's for CVS requirements, and it's for uh, university requirements for accreditation. So we have to uh, basically force you to show up. <laughs> so you, the, you know, the schedule is not flexible. You have to actually show up to take that exam, and you actually have to show up. And uh, I don't have to talk. To, I don't. I mean, I'm not lecturing to the people who aren't. Who excuse me? Who are here right now? I'll be lecturing to the people who are listening to this recording who are not here right now, um, and letting them know that now they have to show up for the second meeting uh, because they're not here now. So you have to show up two of the three mandatory. If you don't, you don't get a grade for the course. Actually, you do get a grade for the course. It's an F. So even if you take the exam, even if you turn in all the homework assignments, you're still going to get an F. And uh, we have a lot of retakers this time, too, from the last people who took the course and got an F uh, because they failed to show. So I don't have to talk to you guys. I'm preaching to the choir here because you guys are here, uh, which is great because uh, you have one of your weekends, and it's the weekend. You have to show up. You, know. you have one of your weekends already done show up for the last one. You could actually skip the middle one if you wanted to. So it's not as strict as you might think. It's kind of relaxed. So, But uh, if you don't show up to at least two of the weekends, you can't get a grade. So, Academic dishonesty is another thing uh, to pay attention to in terms of uh, the way the course is going to run. And uh, also feel free to interrupt me if you have questions as I go through all this stuff. I'm going to assume this stuff is boring and you're looking at a fuzzy screen so we haven't fixed it yet. So I'm going to Minimize the anguish, the pain. <laughs> so, um, the academic dishonesty, if uh, two students turn in the same assignments, and this course has been taught before, and we have assignments that students have turned in, and uh, one of the problems we had last time, actually, we taught the course, is we had some students cheating, you know. In fact, some of them didn't even change their name on the assignment. You know, they just upload stuff with somebody else's name on it. And uh, that's going to get you an F, too. So, we, we are checking for plagiarism, so... Make sure you do your own work. That's kind of how you're going to do it. Don't copy it off the internet or recycle assignments from previous terms. Uh, so the grading form is pretty standard. We don't give out A pluses because it's impossible to get anything past an A. An A is a 4.0. So an A plus is what? 4.0. So I know that some instructors actually give out A pluses, but it, actually when they do the transcripts, I don't know if they get converted to A's, but the GPA gets converted to an A. There's no such thing as an A+. Plus, so. and it's, it's, it's one of those things every term, at the beginning of the term, I, I explain, and then I still have students at the end go, oh, can you give me an A+. Plus? It, it, there's no such, such, such thing. It doesn't exist. Now, I could see if it actually gave you more points or something, but it's the same as an A. So. In fact, I think the transcript just puts it on as an A. It doesn't even give you the A+. Plus, so. Don't ask me for an A+. Plus. You're not going to get it. <laughs> so... All right, let me take a look at the schedule real quick. Now, this is the schedule for the weekday course, but we're taking this on a weekend. And we have uh, three, hmm, no, let's call it two, because the third weekend is the final exam weekend. So we really have two jam-packed weekends. Um, and we're, so we're going both Saturdays and Sundays um, of the three weekends. And uh, so, you know, you make sure you book your ticket ahead of time. You should have the schedule already uh, if you're not local. And uh, as we go through here, we see this, it's broken out sort of like 16 weeks. Well, let's just take that divided by two. So we're going to go up to th week eight today, or today and tomorrow. So we'll be looking at uh, hmm, file descriptors, low-level I.O. We'll probably get through uh, most of the essential system concepts, uh, basic operating system, Unix operating concepts, commands, and stuff like that. 
And then we'll probably cut it off at about week eight in the schedule. And you'll notice that, the, especially for brand new people, the assignments are listed here. There's no due dates on the assignments. Everything is due on May 1st. So, and we'll be sending out emails. If you haven't received an email about today's, uh, this weekend's visit, uh, I'll speak with the TA. She's over in the corner right here. And she'll also be managing the attendance for the course uh, this weekend and next weekend as well, or next time we meet. And, um, and also for the final, and uh, she can get you on the class mailing list uh, if you're not. If you haven't received it, we have sent something out. So you should have received something from us about this weekend, you know, the start time and stuff. So you didn't get that, you're not on the mailing list, so you want to get on the mailing list. Um, so looking at the, in terms of the assignments, so that's assignment one, assignment two, assignment three, project one, project two-ish. You want to, that's probably what you're going to want to work on. The first three, so there's six assignments total, so cut that in half. The first three assignments before next time, uh, next weekend, and the next time we do this, and the first two of the, of the four projects. So it's about 50-50 in terms of the work as well. And uh, for those people who are watching this and who are brand new, uh, if you go into the Unix operating system course on bhacker.com, you'll see projects one, two, three. These are links you click on them and they're Word files. You can download them. And uh, I believe that they are in, are they in the LMS, the f assignments themselves? Are the assignments themselves in the LMS? Yeah? Or is just the grading in there? The assignments are in there as well? Okay, good. So you can also find them in the LMS right now. And then you'll find all of the lectures here. These are the PowerPoints. And uh, there's, there's actually not too many of them. There's only ten of them, but lecture one's like 60 slides or something. So that's going to take you know most of the morning, I would say, before lunch. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> we uh, we'll go and we'll take some breaks in between the lectures, and we'll probably get through about half of them. Is what I'm thinking whatever we don't cover today, we'll cover tomorrow. So. And uh, you'll also see some examples in here as well, some example scripts and things. And you'll also see here from the summer course, the last time it was taught, all the video recordings. Um, so these are not too old, actually. These are pretty recent. Uh, but you'll see sometimes I, I, you know, might focus on something else. You know, I might, like, talk about something more in depth in each one of the times I teach the course. It's, so it comes out a little bit different each time. Uh, so what you can see here is, like, um, as an example, all the uh, topics that were covered. And I, you, you can't read it because it's too small on your screen right now. But um, what we're looking at here... Uh, in fact, if I make it bigger, I know it gets blurrier on your screen. Actually, it's not too blurry. Not too bad. You can see all of the different topics that are listed, uh, covering each one of the you know, directories and files and kernel concepts and stuff. So you might go through here and, and see something of interest, you know, from the previous time, especially if you didn't understand what I was talking about in a particular lecture or if you missed a lecture. And now we're also going to see in this, uh, as we populate, as I, as I give you a lecture, we only have a week weekend section of this. And so you'll see another box here that'll say weekend and it'll be our class from this session. So you'll see the recordings here as well. And these are out on YouTube if you're brand new and you don't know that yet. But uh, when you click on the links it'll take you to the YouTube sites. So you can access them from the YouTube site or you can access them from vhacker.com. It's the same lectures. So. And uh, <coughs> you can kind of see the you know the topic areas as well and the activities. Um, as we go through uh, for what we're going to cover as well. Are there any questions about the syllabus? No questions about the syllabus. Okay, good. Um, I think that we'll do is, um, I have all the assignments downloaded, but I think it's kind of early to kind of go through all of those at this point. So I'm going to stop this recording. That was your basic introduction to the course. And we're going to fix the focus on that so you guys won't have a headache. And uh, starting with lecture one, unless we have questions. No? Okay, good. Let me stop this recording.